Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Supergirl Season 3, Episode 14 called Shot Through the Heart. So it starts with Team Supergirl. Um, she's giving like a pep speech, but they're actually doing a karaoke uh, night, which is actually pretty funny because all of them take turns doing stuff, which was super cool. And then um, Monel's being a little bit of a downer because of stuff he learned from his wife, uh, I think it's the Saturn girl. I don't know her actual name. So it's with the M and I cannot pronounce it. So I'm not going to kill myself doing that. And so um, he talks to James and he's kind of on the fence with Lena. He's like, they're not really official. So, you know, he's just kind of like, well, we haven't decided yet. And then we have Alex uh, wants to uh, see John's apartment. And then we have James calls Lena, but he gets a voicemail. Then we have Wynn's uh, turn is up next. And then as he literally is just about to sing, he sees the news where his dad died. Uh, then he runs off. Then James goes after him and talks to him. Then you have the at the funeral. And no one says anything, so they put him into the ground. And then his mom shows up. And then, it turns out when it got too close, the um, coffin blows up. And then, I miss a little part. Uh, you can't get that back. <laughs> I forgot to set my DVR. But I managed to watch it live, though. Anyway, so the next scene that I saw was Monel talks to Supergirl. And he's pissed at his wife and Brainy. And asks for drinks later to talk. They have Wynn's mom is at the D.O. and they talk and she, he is just literally so mad at her. It's not even funny. And so, um, and then basically, uh, she's, the reason why she left is because the dad threatened his life and so that's why she left. And then Wynn is still furious and tells her to leave. And then we have something happening, and it turns out toys uh, says so surrender her with flying monkeys as the toy. And then the monkeys attack the D.O. And then we have Supergirl and, and company destroy them. And then Alex joins John and his dad for dinner. And so, you know, she just kind of plays it off like, oh, we'll stomp them all. We'll a little blip on the radar happened at the DO, but nothing to worry about. <laughs> and so they talk about um, race and why they chose their uh, skin color because they can be any color they want to be or any race they want to be, but they chose that color. And they show their uh, reason for it. And I think that's pretty good. A little bit of an insightful conversation, you know, but, you know, I really liked it. And then we have, uh, let's see, uh, then the dad is starting to have some memory issues. And then we have Wynn and James talk. And then we cut to where the mom talks to Supergirl. Then now to, talks to John's dad again. Turns out he has dementia, but he already knows he has that and tells her not to say anything. But she wants to tell him, and he said, he literally yells at her and tells her that's not your place and tells her to leave. So she does. And then, uh, then we have Wynn. Uh, I was trying to do the diagnosis on the monkey, on the flying monkey. Nothing's really working with that. So the mom helps out, and turns out she used to be an apprentice for his dad. So she, already, she knows how to work her way around that and to do stuff. And then, so the mom works with him, and then they talk about the trip to Disneyland, which is not really a trip to Disneyland at all, but to a domestic um, abuse shelter. And uh, when they got into a wreck, that was really the dad T-boning them into a ditch, and how he was unconscious, and that's when he threatened Wynn's life. So that's why she left. So, uh, it turns out he was always a monster, and then Wynn never knew this, and he kind of, you know, feels bad about how he was feeling, and says, you know, sorry, and didn't know this was happening, and all this type of stuff, so they kind of make up a little bit. And then we have Alex uh, plays Dumb with John, 
And then when he presses further, she just won't say that you gotta talk to your dad about it. And then we have Lena not picking up um, the phone. It's not answering the phone for James. And then we have the mom found a clue and the flying monkey robot and takes it and longs with the weapon and leaves. Then she goes to the shop where the lady captured her. And then Dio gets the message about how they have her, about she about the lady wanting win. And then they go, so they all go to the location. Then the mom and the woman talk. And basically, she was another apprentice for Wynn's dad. And she was some type of officer at the penitentiary. And she's cuckoo pants. <laughs> and then uh, the team gets there. And they're dealing with all the bomb, all the bombs attacks <laughs> Team Supergirl. Uh, you have planes, you have uh, cars, you have tanks. You just have everything just flying at them. And a freaking T-Rex. Then when Supergirl gets uh, sealed into like a... You know how the session figures are into that plastic um, thing and they get... They have the cardboard and stuff. That's basically what happened to Supergirl. So mon comes in and tries to save her and does. And takes down the dinosaur. <laughs> Which was actually pretty cool. And then Mama Win uh, KO the woman. And then we have Monel doing karaoke. We're super bad at it. And then the mom tells Win that she is proud and says goodbye, but they're going to do a karaoke song first. And Win convinces her to stay for just for a little bit so they can get to know each other more. And then Monel <coughs> and Car talk. And then she shuts down the conversation. But uh, he, he kind of presses for and says, it's about her, it's not about my wife, it's about you. And so it turns out the mission is to find the third world killer, because if they don't in a thousand years, she'll turn into blight. And so if they find her now, they can save all of humanity. And then offers to train her, basically that cape trick he did to take down the dinosaur. And then we have John, his dad talk, and he finally comes clean. And they have Wynn and Mom do a song. Then um, John walks in, then Alex sees him, and they hug it out. And then Lena finally calls James and just says, like, you know, I've just been busy at work. I'm da 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 da. But it turns out she has Sam in a box slash lab and keeping her, I think, unconscious. <laughs> so crazy interesting with that. So, And that was the end of the episode. I thought it was a really good episode. I'll probably give this uh, a plus. I really did enjoy it. And the guest star, the mom, is also from Roseanne. And I did not, I made that connection. I was like, oh, she's from Roseanne. What? Anyway, I really liked the dynamic between Wynn and his mom. And he's actually had a really good scene when he was being furious at his mom and telling uh, her the story about when his dad went to jail and stuff. And how she didn't show up, what he really believed it. It was a really, really, really good scene between those two. I really enjoyed that. That was really good. And just everything else that was happening in the episode was really good. A lot of stuff was happening, but I feel like it wasn't too much. So I really did appreciate that. I felt like it was the right balance of stuff. And I like how um, they're making, you know, funny stuff in there as well with karaoke night, like just blowing off stance and all action, action, action. So I like how they're being more balanced with um, how they do the episode. I really do like that. Anyway, I think that's what I did for this episode, this video, this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode. And like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.